I'm sure most of you have heard of the program Head Start. Serves uh, kids from zero to five. And I know President Obama is trying to increase the funds that are being provided for Head Start preschool, particularly those from zero to birth. Um, I was asked to talk about my um, view on the need for federal funds for this population of kids who are the most vulnerable among us because the main criteria for being a Head Start participant is you have to be below the poverty line. And as you can imagine, being below the poverty line in today's environment just wreaks havoc. Very recently, we had a family of six who had their power turned off, and um, which meant they had no heat. The way we discovered it was because one of the children came to Head Start and he said, we have no lights. And the, they noticed that his lips were parched. And anyway, I know I'm, my time is running fast here. The, it was one of those areas where I decided to take a personal look at and found that, in fact, they had their heat turned off and had been off for quite a while. So I contacted City Light to see if City Light would have any compassion. They did uh, what they could do. They gave me the, uh, the, the, the answer that they couldn't do anymore because they hadn't done enough. But we were able to get in, in touch with CAMP, that's the, the Central Area Motivation Program, who provided funds to have the power turned off only to find that they were going to be evicted the next day. So I had to then get the housing people to see if they would make a concession, if the landlord would agree to that, to give them at least 15 more days to remain in the place. We were able to pull that together, and um, they have still have not found a place but they have not been evicted on the street. So, but that's one of the situations where it's clear that the need is wide. And uh, so, I'm ahead of the schedule, all right? On the time? About done. About done, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tess, I'm a mother. I'm a full-time college student, and I'm also a volunteer for the United Indians of All Tribes Foundation Head Start program, and I'm going to talk about the importance of federal funding for Head Start programs. Head Start provides opportunities for low-income and disadvantaged preschool children. It's a school readiness program that gives kids social and academic skills they need to be ready for kindergarten. Head Start students are better prepared to learn. They have higher self-esteem. They possess more social skills when they start kindergarten. Studies show that Head Start students are less likely to repeat grades. It provides positive outcomes later in life. Head Start students are more likely to graduate from high school and college, more likely to be consistently employed, have a lower rate of substance abuse, and a lower rate of incarceration. Our staff provides medical screenings, resources for medical and dental care, financial literacy programs for families, and we're currently working on a nutritional education program for families. It also provides opportunities for members of the community like myself. I'm a volunteer and I'm doing my college internship there right now. At Christmas, most kids expect to get toys and presents. When my family went shopping this holiday season, we bought underwear and socks and clothes for our kids. There's a student of mine that has to share a pair of shoes with his brother. Some students have no electricity and no access to healthy food options. We provide breakfast, lunch, and snacks for all of our kids, and sometimes that's the only meal they eat all day. Having funding for programs like these is crucial. Thank you for listening and thank you for your time. <laughs> 